I'm mailing it about with Bill Sage, and he is starring in Wrong Turn. Welcome, Bill. Hey, Robin. How are you? Are you just waking up? You're in your bedroom there. I know. But no, it's it's uh, we're upstate, upstate New York. It's uh, yeah, we're I oh, shouldn't be waking up now. <laughs> I got my dog in here. See. Oh, oh, so sweet. I'm about to hike the Appalachian Trail. Uh oh. We'll stay on the trail. Stay on the trail, kids. Exactly. So what about you? Do you have any fun adventures, hiking, camping? Oh, I love all that stuff. You know, especially up here. Um, I go hiking a lot. Um, I've camped up here, worked a lot up here. You know, we shot We Are What We Are up here. Jim Bickles, We Are What We Are. Um, and... Um, yeah, I love all that stuff. So playing this character was, you know, I'm glad they put me in a hotel, but. Uh, <laughs> do, uh, do you have a specific story that you can share about your own camping out? Maybe something that went wrong, maybe not as wrong as this movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, I do love camping a lot. I the very first time I went to the Toronto Film Festival. And I remember uh, I, I stayed a few days because, you know, I was out of New York and I was, and I, I brought my camping gear. And while the festival was going on, took three days by myself uh, uh, up in, up north of Toronto. And, uh, you know, got there and it just started pouring. I'm just kind of stuck in the tent with, you know, with a book and uh yeah it was it was fun but it was also like oh wow i'm alone with a book and <laughs> you know uh and so a bear I, might come eat me <laughs> yeah no yeah right and um then i then i was there with uh hal hartley on simple men and i went back and ran into quentin tarantino he said he says well, you, you're still here i go yeah i was just camping he says what we mean like with a tent like yeah you know yeah you have to have that kind of constitution i'm not into the bugs but hmm. you know everything else works yeah so it looks like you're in the outdoors is that just your background yeah well, it's your background. i can't believe you don't recognize this it's from the movie oh yeah okay okay <laughs> Is it, that's a still from the film? Yeah, yeah. Just the, oh, you, you, oh, because your head's blocking the campers. Exactly, exactly. I want to make believe I'm actually there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's cool. So this was a really interesting costume, Bill. Um, mm -hmm. Did you take it home with you? I took the pants home, you, you know. You did? Yeah, they gave me the pants and um, yeah, it was an interesting costume, you know. That kind of thing does have to work for you, you know. That and good dialect and, you know, some Faroese and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah this is the kind of movie where you just can't talk too much because I don't want to give anything away because there are so oh. many great twists and turns. But uh, what a great co-star with Charlotte Vega, huh? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. She she um, really makes this film, um, and um, you know, I mean, the whole the whole young cast was pretty extraordinary, and Matthew, you know, I'm very I'm very proud of it. I saw it for the first time last night, so. Oh yeah, and what yeah. what did you think? I loved it. I loved it. I'm very proud of it. Um, you know, at first uh, I didn't know if I wanted to be part of uh, of a remake, but. You know, once I read the script, I mean, knowing that it was by the, with the same writer, uh, Alan, um, I, uh, you know, it, it, it's very different. It's, it's not even, I wouldn't even call it a remake or even a reboot. It's just, it's just get halfway through it and it's quite different. Yeah. Tell me about, um, you, you mentioned that you're the, you were one of the oldest on the set. So, did you feel like the elder statesman in a way? Yeah, yes and no. I mean, it's always I, I really do come with a um, 
a beginner's mind to everything, you know, it, it, everything in, in acting for sure. Um, and it's one of the professions where you get to work with, you know, I, I love working with kids. I love working with, uh, you know, little kids or, or people in their twenties. And, um, I thought this was a, just a outstanding committed young cast. Um, you know, it was, it was Adrian's second film, first horror film. And she's just was amazing. And, you know, their commitment was just extraordinary. Um, and then, you know, then there's Matthew who, you know, um, Matthew's one of those guys that I looked up to, um, where you was one of those early guys like Tim Hutton that where you realized, oh, somebody just a few years older than you was starring in films, you know? I mean, you see Tim Hutton and, and uh, I mean, I think, I think off of like ordinary people, then you see him in taps where he is the lead guy, you know? And then you have a whole, and then, and you have Matthew Modine and, and uh, Sean Penn and all these great actors that, that followed. So he's in that, I mean, seeing Matthew Modine and Birdie. Oh was, yeah. Oh, I mean, he's, so I, I really loved working with him. And, um, and, and he was willing to talk about Full Metal Jacket, which was great, you know. You know, I have the best gift from Matthew. He gave me like a book of all the photos he took on the set of Full Metal Jacket. And it has, oh, I, you know is it? it? Book? Yeah, is it the, is that metal jacketed book? Yes. That's, that's, Robin, that's great. That's a nice gift. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Very cool, yeah, yeah. No, and I had worked, we, we, we talked a lot about Arlie Ermey. He's one of those, he plays the staff sergeant, you know. Um, I had worked with him before. And that's just, I mean, he really wasn't an actor before that Arlie Ermey. He, he was an actual staff sergeant, but he's just one of those, one of those actors that, uh, you know, he's just the natural. Yeah. Now you got your start at New York uh, City's uh, yeah. purchase. My stepson went there, by the way. All right. Okay. So All right. Is he now part of the mafia? He's it. Yeah, he is. Yeah, of course. Yeah. What department? He was studied acting there? Well, he wanted to get into music management. Not a, not a great field, but, you know, he graduated. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Purchase is a great school. I mean, it's a it's a school you can afford. I mean, it's you know it's a state school. It's it's not easy to get in. You know, it's it's the SUNY system, this of of the SUNY SUNY schools. It's it's the art school. You know, if you're an artist, there you gotta have a resume. You gotta I mean you have to audition to get in to the acting. All all of it. You know, it was a great place to be. It was, it, it was a um, I wish there were more schools like it. Oh, I know. So, did you get to work with a lot of the a lot of your alumni over the years? Oh, over the years, many, many. You know, it led to, you know, I did a lot of theater before I ever did a before I ever did a movie, which um, uh, I, I think helped me tremendously. I mean, it helped me a lot in in playing Venerable because it's a lot of what he does is very theatrical. Um, and taking on dialects and working with your voice and, and you know, so, um, yeah, well, I've worked with many of them, you know, um, Hal Hartley, of course, you know, we've done a, a, several films with him. We're going to do another one, got put off because, uh, because of COVID, we were going to shoot a film called Where to Land. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, no. Oh, so Edie Falco is, uh, she's a purchase alumni as well and and she's in it and parker posey and you know um so we got a lot of yeah a lot of the how hartley films um he used a lot of people that had come out of suny you know and they have a pretty great track record oh yeah and and just really quick you did work with Edie on nurse jackie so that's a nice little yes reunion. yeah yeah and we're good friends i mean i'm godfather to her kids so we are pretty close. Oh yeah, I would say that. <laughs> she's shooting. She's playing Hillary Clinton. No spoiler there, but but I'm excited for that. Um, oh, you know. But I digress. Uh, 
I, I hope that they that they enjoy it and that they come away with something. Um, as to what they come away with, it's, it's whatever they come away with. A good, you know, I think it's good more. Scare. I think it's more timely now than when we made it. I'll say that. No. Oh yeah. Well, it scared the pants off of me. Not your pants, but the pants. <laughs> the pants. I can. <laughs> good. Run. Oh, I'm glad you. Well, you you did enjoy it, right? I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot of fun. Well, Bill, I'm going to let you go. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you, Robin. Nice to, nice to speak with you. Take good care. All right, you too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. From every Always news. Always refreshing. Always candid. Always billing about. Robin Milling delivers what celebrities are saying to you. To you. To you.